In today's video, I'm talking about how having a big heart in business is not profitable. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, if you are somebody that's thinking about, you know, starting your own business, this message is for you. You know, you will always get people that will try to play on your emotions. You know, my family does dog and daycare boarding and people are always trying to hustle you uh, based upon a sob story. And everybody has a sob story, okay? It's just some people use it uh, for their gain at your expense. What am I talking about? This is when you have people uh, that call you and say, hey, you know, you know, my grandmother or my mama is, is terminally ill and you know, right now the, the, the cancer treatment is $4,000 and we're doing a, a, a family collection and man, I just, I'm just wondering, could you cut me a deal? You know, we get people calling saying, you know, oh man, we, you don't have anything, you know, for boarding dogs for $15 and for this and for that. And I'm flat out like, no, I don't have none because I know what our overhead is. I know what our bottom dollar is. Here's another one. You know, man, you know, man, I'm trying to take my kids uh, uh, to Disney World and, you know, it's hard out here for a single mother. You know, struggling, you know, without the kids' father being here. Is there any way you could just, just have it on your heart to cut me a deal? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to that. Older people, well, you know, we on a, you know, a fixed income and can't really do too much right now, can't budge. And, and, and these people pulling up in brand new Escalades, $100,000 Escalades, 2024. Tell me, can you give them a deal? You know, these kids show back up uh, from Disney World. You find out these people then not only went to Disney World, stayed in the Disney Resort, which is expensive, but say, oh man, we spent way too much money. And now you're thinking about, man, I got shorted. I didn't dealt, I didn't done this job or done this service and got shorted and had to do with foolishness. Why? Because you had a big heart. Nobody starts a business for it to be unprofitable. Nobody starts a business to break even. Having a big heart is not profitable. You know, I've done other uh, videos for Israel, you know, and you can check those out on my business playlist. I talked about separating, uh, you know, friendship from business, business from pleasure, because people will use any kind of advantage to try to uh, get something for nothing or to not pay you. And this is what I want you to realize. Just like Walmart has an overhead, you're not going in there and negotiating haggling prices. If Walmart's selling them eggs for $15, $10 a dozen, guess what? You don't sit up there and get to the cash register. Oh, you know, you see my kids and we need diapers. And is there any way you could give me these eggs for $4? You don't sit there and do that to them. When these people go to Sam's Club, when they go to these other places, uh, well-known establishments, they don't buy your sob story. Why? Because it's just business. You know, I, I'll tell you the heartbeat, my condolences for you. You know, uh, I'm sorry you're going through that, but the price is blank, blank, blank. Now here's another case. I'm not telling you not to have a heart, but don't, don't let your business be unprofitable because you are managing your business based on your heart. What I'm telling you is, okay, if you pull up and you're doing work for somebody and they want a job done and you can tell that the struggle is happening, that the person is in need. 
you can physically tell and discern, man, these folks is hurting. Man, it's 30 degrees and this baby ain't got no jacket. I'm not telling you not to go with what's on your heart. Do that. Even if you feel like giving the service away for free, give it away for free. You see what I'm saying? It's better to, to, to help those that are truly in need than to be thinking you're helping somebody who's not in need because they're playing on your heart. Playing on your heart. But there sure is, but there will be a lot of it for if you. If you start a business, don't be surprised if people wanna do that. You know, it, it's like uh, cutting hair. There's a there's a known hobo in the community, a known homeless man. That man might say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get on my feet. I need a haircut. It might be on your heart to say, you know what? I got you. This one, even though the money you offer me, I, I want you to keep that, man. And when you get up, if it's on your heart, you bring you 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 pay it forward. You know, but you have some people that lead in with a side story. I got a side story, man. I, I man, you know, uh, man, the kids, you know, they grown out their jeans, and I can't have them walking around here like this. Is there any way that I could charge you possibly twenty dollars more? Because, you know, uh, my son is eating eight eggs at a time. Is there any way that I could, uh, you know, I know the job only costs 100 but is there any way that I could charge you an additional 20 Because, man, I really need it. Ain't nobody buying that. But everybody wants you to buy their sob story. And this is why I tell you, running a business off of a big heart is unprofitable. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.